got out of the service in 1969 after completing the tour in Vietnam. In fact, it was in all three wars. And while I was in um, World War II, I didn't get a chance to see any ac action there because I was still at Malfa Point Camp. And uh, I didn't get a chance to really get exposure until I went to Korea in 1950. Being assigned over there, I was a sergeant major of the 11th Marine for a period of about a month or two months when a senior, master, a senior white master sergeant came over and relieved me because at that time, I guess, blacks hadn't excelled to be senior. And I ended up being the first sergeant of, um, uh, and it was two, uh, three um, batteries. In Vietnam, I was the first sergeant of 1-9, the 9th Marine. That was the walking dead. Everybody got wiped out. I got wiped out once. But I never, I never did get hit. My buddy went over, McDowell. He and I went over together, and he was never a month before he had lost his leg because he was out sweeping, and I was out sweeping, that is, me, with, you know, trying to find a Viet car. Up at the, um, we was at the Night Marine, which is up on the DMZ. They're supposed to rotate me after six, after six months, but they say they didn't have nobody to, to, to replace me. So I had to stay up there another, another six months being shot at every day. Just lucky. I went through there and everywhere and Tet was hit about a week after I went through there. So I stayed up on the front line for the whole 13 months. Lucky, didn't get, didn't get a scratch, but came back and said, I know one thing for certain. I will not stay in the Marine Corps any longer. 